Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up in just a few minutes in our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. Today, we're featuring Dr. Michael Gold, founder of Gold Skin Care Center in Nashville, a renowned board-certified dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon. He spearheads a comprehensive practice offering medical, surgical, and cosmetic dermatology alongside cutting-edge research at the Tennessee Clinical Research Center. With over 500 scientific articles and 40 textbook chapters to his name, Dr. Gold is a global authority in dermatology. He serves as editor-in-chief of the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology and Dermatological Reviews, and he's played pivotal roles in establishing major international conferences like DASIL and 5CC. Today, he is here to chat carboxytherapy for skin rejuvenation, how to achieve the facelift look non-invasively, and why pre-treating your skin prior to a procedure makes all the difference. Welcoming now to the show is my expert on the microphone, Dr. Michael Gold. Welcome to the show, superstar. Well, thanks so much, Zen. Let's jump right in. Technology has really opened up new possibilities for achieving remarkable results without invasive procedures. For instance, laser technology has been a game changer in your field, allowing you to address a wide range of skin concerns with precision and minimal downtime. In fact, statistics show that the global market in dermatology lasers is expected to reach 5.3% billion dollars by the year 2026, reflecting the growing demand for these advanced treatments. Now, with your vast experience in dermatology, how do you feel about the advancements in the tech for skin care and treatment? And what tech or products, per se, are you most excited about? Sure. So, yeah. So, I think we're very lucky being in the cosmetic, aesthetic, dermatologic surgery space um, for the past, you know, uh, several years. We've seen changes. So I've been a dermatologist for 35 years, trained as a cosmetic and medical dermatologist. But when I came out of training, cosmetic was really new. Anything aesthetic was invasive. So we were we were doing laser procedures that took off the whole skin. We were doing um, you know um, pr uh, surgical procedures that actually were invasive. So what we've seen over the trend is that patients want, they want less downtime, they want almost immediate results. And we have to, we've changed with the companies and the development, and I've been part of that over the last 20 years, 30 years, to see how we have been able to get there, right? So you come in to see me, I know what's going on. I have 10 options to treat you. But what I try to do with all of my patients and people that I see is what is going to give you the best results, the fastest results with the least amount of downtime, because we're all busy and nobody's going to spend a week or 10 days or two weeks in bed anymore. Um, so you got to be able to treat somebody, use the right products before and after. And we've done all that. And we've been, and the nice part about it is most of that work has been published. And so peer reviewed publications, are really important, especially in the skincare space and in the device space and in the toxin space and filler space, because we've got to be able to show that these things actually work in a controlled setting. So, you know, you, you're people that are listening out there, there's 18,000 million products out there that are being hawked all over the place. And the reality is 99% of them have no science behind them. It's somebody's idea. It's somebody's putting something in a bottle maybe you know an, an, a you know a, a private label type of product that just doesn't have any science behind it so when people are out there looking i always tell them go find what you like but also ask the people show me any data that support it right and right it's really hard in today's world because there's so many different choices you go you know, just get on the internet and you can find so many things, but very little have science. And as a dermatologist, we're all about science, right? And then we're all about, you know, the first thing in the science world is everybody should be wearing sunscreen um, and all year round. That's, that's like the basis of everything we do. And then we add things to that. It's fascinating to hear your perspective on how you've, you know, 30 years, how 
full circle or not, the industry has come and there's still gaps. But you've mentioned your enthusiasm for laser technology. And post-care, we know, plays a crucial role in ensuring optimal outcomes and patient satisfaction following dermatologic procedures, especially laser treatments. So proper post-care protocols, we know, help to minimize discomfort and reduce the risk of complications and promote faster healing. And studies, back to your studies, have shown that adherence to post-care instructions can significantly improve treatment results with up to 50% reduction in these adverse effects. So could you elaborate on why you believe post care is so essential in dermatology? Well, again, I think what we've found, so the biggest procedures in the laser world that we're doing today are, in, they, they fall into the categories of microneedling with radio frequency or microneedling alone, but microneedling RF technology, which is used for lots of different things. We do these fractional lasers, whether it's we call them non-ablative or ablative. Ablative is a little more downtime. Non-ablative is a little less downtime. Um, and, and then we do what's called intense pulse light, which has also changed over the last 30 years. And But there are there's downtime with them. And so people need to use products that are going to act, if you will, as wound healing agents. Right. Promote, you're creating a damage to the skin barrier. You're creating holes in the skin that you can't see um, for the most part. But we're able to use skincare products that take that add benefits to that actual healing process. So it, again, when I was first started, it was put on, you know, uh, petrolatum or, you know, a really thick occlusive um, uh, product. We don't do that anymore. We're using products that have growth factors, antioxidants, um, things like exosomes, which is a new buzzword, um, to help healing. And then, you know, carboxytherapy, which is not new, but what we've learned from carboxytherapy over the years is that it not only is it a great pre-product and take-home product, but post anything that I do, I can take the downtime and minimize it to almost, you know, just a day or two or three. So if I do a procedure on you and really cause a lot of redness and inflammation, and, you know, I know there's going to be downtime, if I can take that and lessen it by half or two thirds, but still get the same clinical benefit, that's a win for everybody. And right? there's and then, your and there's your critical post care um application, if you will, correct. that is essential. Right. Yeah. I mean again, we and and there's some great products out there. And most of the you know board certified dermatologists, board certified plastic surgeons, we know about these products. We've worked with them. My I guess my benefit is I've tested most of these. So I've been part of, you know, many, many clinical trials that are, we call institutional review board, IRB controlled clinical studies, where we you know, have a protocol, we do the procedure, we do the post care, we follow these patients day one, day two, day three, day seven, month later, and we know how the how it's going, how the skin is responding, and so, and then we compare them sometimes to a, a something that doesn't we know doesn't help the skin heal very right. fast. Yes. So I I get to do that work, which then translates into companies being able to go and say to the doctors and the clinicians out there, hey, you know, here's a paper that shows that our product has helped do whatever. So clinically verified and clinically researched is critical in this process. Now, let's jump back onto something you said that piqued my interest, carboxytherapy. We know it has many proprietary uses. It's non-invasive. It involves the therapeutic, therapeutic use of carbon dioxide for skin rege regeneration. And we're really seeing great results. And I know for a fact I've been using it on myself, but when infused into the skin, CO2 immediately diffuses at the cutaneous and muscular microcirculatory levels, resulting in higher tissue oxygenation and neoangiogenesis. So the blood vessel is widened, increasing the transport of oxygen body tissues for cellular regeneration and anti-inflammatory effects. The science is there. It's a treatment that's been around since the 1930s, but now, interestingly enough, the method of delivery has improved with a gel delivery system called CO2 Lift, bringing me to this next question. So how does CO2 Lift Dr. Gold or carboxytherapy fit into the post-care regimens for patients undergoing dermatological procedures? Well, again, so but everything you just said, right, by increasing the oxygenation of the skin, increasing the the blood flow and uh, and helping the, the the get that energy back to the skin 
it stimulates connective tissue. It, as you said, it restores the microvascular. This is what I try to do every day with all my medicines, right? right. Or, or all my topical treatments on the skin. But when you're doing a procedure that, again, disrupts the skin barrier, which is what protects us, and but right. that's what we need to get through to get the devices or the medicine, you know, what we're doing into the skin, that is an important role. And that plays a really big part in how the skin is going to heal. So you, we have this carboxy therapy is a really old treatment. I mean, it dates back hundreds of hundreds of years in how it was perceived at the beginning, but only about in the last 10 or 15 years, as you said, we've had formulations like CO2 lift that allow us to give something to a patient post-procedure where we can knock out the, the big time redness and swelling you know, almost within 30 minutes to an hour, but yet continue it at home to get the benefits over the next week or two or three. And then there's home products and all this stuff. So it's become one of those treatments that if you asked me this question about five or seven years ago, I would have said this stuff doesn't work. Um, I was very skeptical. Then actually one of my good friends in dermatology published a clinical paper on this which piqued my interest. I, I don't have to do all the work, but I, I trust certain people in the business. Dr. Beisman. Dr. Beisman's one of them. And then there's I love Dr. Him. Yeah. And so, you know, then we're like, okay, this really does something. And now we start looking at it. And then yet you start giving this to your patients and you get this, it's like a wow effect when they were finished using the treatment. And I like wow effects on my patients if it's if it's a wow benefit, right? And oh, this is, yeah, yeah. And this is always a wow benefit. So it's interesting because we know that even pre-treatment sets the foundation for successful outcomes. And Correct. you know, preparing the skin beforehand can really optimize its condition and improve treatment tolerance and really enhance the efficacy of procedures. So whether it's through skincare products, chemical peels, or other modalities. Pre-treatment helps to prime the skin and maximize results. And studies have shown that proper pre-treatment can definitely increase the success rates of procedures by up to even 30%, which is a big statistic. So you also emphasize the importance of pre-treating the skin. Yeah. Now, pre and post in laser treatment, very critical to pre-treat the skin. What have you witnessed in your practice with respect to following this proper roadmap? Well, if, I always say to people, if you follow the roadmap, you're going to get the best results. I think we live in a different world than when I came out 30 years ago. We're all so much busier, it seems. Um, so sometimes patients don't have 30 days to prep the skin, right? And so, but even a week before would be a great idea with something. And carboxy, you know, CO2 lift is really good to do that. Um, but so are some of the other products out there. Um, and, you know, we used to, if you were using, I'll use a brand name, Retin-A, if you're using Retin-A or one of the Retin-A-like medicines, we used to tell people, use it, stop it a few days before we do our procedures. We don't really, I don't do that much anymore. I, I, right. I you know, there's, there, the way they are delivered and the way they are made now, it's pretty good. So, but most of our patients, you know, in the cosmetic dermatology world are on a really good skincare routine. And we're using the devices to enhance the results, make the results work, get there faster, um, fix certain problems, whether they're, you know, somebody has acne scars or a lot of photo damage. Um, and, and this is why we, you know, incorporate the topicals before, immediately after, and at home as a post-treatment, um, just to get the skin back to where it was, but then watching the improvement since we've done the device treatment, which is going to help, but we also know that using like CO2 lift, we're going to see improvements in the skin as well. So I like the combinations um, and, you know, I, and I'm to the point in my career, if I tell you, you know, you come in and say, I'm not going to do what you say, but I want the laser treatment. I may not be the person that is going to take care of you. Right. Yeah. I think we have well, to be very, I think we have to be very honest with our patients um, that and manage expectations. Yeah, we have great tools at our hand, but I'm not putting after the laser procedure, I'm not doing the tools, right? right. You have to yeah. do this at home. And if you want if you want better skin, more beautiful skin, um, you have to do you have to do something. You gotta be a good student. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's talk scale because we have about a minute left. So scale okay. or the Symposium for Cosmetic Advances in Laser Education. It's a one of a kind educational event that brings together experts like yourself from around the world to share knowledge and best practices in dermatology and aesthetic medicine. So could you tell us a little bit about scale yeah. and what makes it such a unique conference in the derm community? Well, so so scale is, is, a, is, a, is a cosmetic, aesthetic, medical derm practice management, we cover everything. Um, that's This is Dr. Beisman in my 19th year of doing this. Um, if you would have told us 19 years ago, we'd still be doing it. And we started with 20 people in a room and I think we had two companies that helped us. And now we have about 15 to 1800 people come wow. from all over the world. We have a faculty of over a hundred people from all over the world. And we have about 150 vendors that come. And so one of the things that we'd like to and we, we like to say, but we know is true, is our faculty is, we call them, you know, they're the cream of the food chain or top of the food chain. The creme um, de la creme, the cream of yeah, the Yeah, they, they are the creme de la creme. I mean, in every discipline, whether you're looking from the dermatology world, the cosmetic dermatology world, the oculoplastic world, the plastic surgical world, and the practice management world, we handpick who we want. And they, you know, and I think it's very nice. I'm, I'm from the Northeast, so I know the Northeast pretty well, but Nashville is very special. And so having a meeting that we can bring people to Nashville and educate them on what we do best is really special. So we love putting on this meeting scale. Um, it's um, it's just one of the top events in, in now it's in the world as far as medical education in the cosmetic and medical derm space. I love it. And scale really sets itself apart. I mean, I've been myself, I've attended. It's a comprehensive curriculum. It includes hands-on workshops, live demonstrations, interactive sessions covering the latest techniques and technologies. And as one of the founders of scale, it, you have become a cornerstone uh, event in your field and you foster innovation and collaboration and excellence in the dermatological care, which I think is so unique. And the fact that you and Dr. Beisman have been doing this for almost two decades, really, really Really speaks volumes. Now we have 45 seconds left. You're, 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 hi you're hired, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the promo. <laughs> yeah, if, exactly. It's my job. But your top three tips to slow down the aging process, what are they? All right. So the top three tips to slow down the aging process. First, in, in the order, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Um, a really good skincare routine, uh, CO2 lift or one of the other products out there. And, and if somebody you know, has a lot of sun damage, consult with an expert to see what the options are. So one of the things that, again, I'll use Dr. Beisman as my other example. If you come to us, we have a multitude of devices and treatment options for you. We don't just take the device because we have one device and try, oh, well, we're going to use this one on you or whatever. But we want to fit the device to the condition or the need. Right. And so if you tell me you can have three weeks of downtime, I'm going to give you three weeks of downtime. You'd need one treatment. But again, if you only can have a day or two of downtime, I'm going to show you what works, not what I think might work. So right. that's where we that's where we differ. I love it. Well, listen, it has been an absolute pleasure having Thanks. you on here. You are so, so fun to talk to. I learned so much from you today. Thank you for being my expert on the microphone. Thank you so much. That was our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. That was the incredible Dr. Michael Gold. And you can head directly to their website at goldskincare.com or check them out on the gram at Gold Skincare Center. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this.